Hi, I'm David. Welcome to 3D Make It. Today, we're going to be talking about supports. So, supports. Love them or hate them, we have to use them. Supports are there for 3D printers if we have to print on an overhang greater than 45 degrees on general, but if your printer is tuned a little bit better with good cooling, you can push that angle up a little higher. And also for parts that hover in mid-air. So if we have unsupported parts of the model that would just kind of happen on a layer, we have to support that. Now let's see what we mean. Uh, we're going to use the John Wick PLA kit model from Thingiverse and we can just look really quick at the model here. Um, I chose the one with the pencil and the model basically is a simple figure with a head uh, and the body but we can notice that the pencil and one of the hands at least and some of the, the head areas there are definitely going to cause an overhang for a printer or be printed in midair so we're going to have to support them. So here we can see the prints I made, one on my Ender 3 and one on my CR-10S and one on my Mamarubot SX4. Now the Ender 3 and the Mamarubot prints both have BL touches and you'll understand why I mentioned that in a minute. Um, but here are the prints. So if we go from our silk prints, so our silk blue was done on the Ender uh, at about 200 degrees, 60 on the bed. Uh, same thing for the Mamarubot print, which is the marble. Um, again, 60 on the bed, 200 at the nozzle. And then the other print, the black, was actually done in an Arion, Ari 1. It's a new filament, um, black, on my CR-10S. Now, I will go and say that my uh, print of the model on the Mamarubot and the Ender 3 were perfect. I had no problems. They spit out right away. And the uh, the CR10, not to its fault, but the filament kept clogging on the first layer. And um, I ended up figuring out why, but uh, it was a three try print. So I'm going to run to a time lapse of the prints here so you can see. Um, but uh, just remember that it wasn't a perfect print the first time for the black one. And also you'll notice while these are printing that they're done in different support types. So the black model was done on the Prusa 2 slicer. Uh, the silk blue model was done on the um, Idea Maker slicer. And then Kira sliced the marble one. So let's just check out those time lapse. <laughs> Awesome. Just before I tear off all this support material, I want to mention that the uh, slicing was done using automatically generated supports. Uh, uh, the only thing I actually tweaked was uh, the Z height, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So on our Idea Maker and our Prusa 2 slicer, we're just using the regular grid that pops up. On the Kira slicer, I chose to use the tree support, and I'm going to show you all the settings that I used in a second. But let's get this support off.
So there we have it. We got all the support off the models. Um, as you can see, uh, there was one model in particular, the black one, that uh, the support was so fused to the model I couldn't remove it. Now, there's a good reason for that, and I, w I wanted to show it to you. Uh, because it happens to all of us sometimes and it's important to know what to fix and how to fix it. So the first thing is before we look at the model specifically, especially the black one, I want to talk about some slicer settings. And before we even get to the slicer, we're going to talk about the printer. So the first thing to remember when you're printing, uh, especially if you need items with support on them, is one that your bed is level. So that means if you have an auto leveling sensor, use those. If you don't, make sure that you level your bed before a print that needs support. What that will do is ensure that if there is a layer that needs support, it goes down level without actually lifting and touching the other one and causing it to fuse together. So that's very, very important when we're dealing with supports is a level bed. The second is know your filament temperature. So PLA can print anywhere from about 190 degrees all the way up to 225 or 230. It all depends on the filament. Now, uh, I myself printed around 200 on most of my print jobs. So when we're looking at the prints that I made today, they were all at 200 except for that black one. And that's the one we need to talk about in a minute. And the last thing that we want to talk about, and this is going to be a slicer setting, is going in and adjusting the Z gap or the Z height from the support to the next layer. Now in Idea Maker, um, you're limited to the options because you can only change it to layers, which means you can only go up a layer or down a layer. So you can either have, uh, if you're at 0.2 layers, you can get 0.2 to the next layer that needs support or 0.4. So you'll have a huge gap if you use the 0.4 and it might fall and sag. And we don't want that. So when we're talking Kira or Prusa, we can adjust the, uh, in Prusa it's the detachable height, the Z height on your support settings. And, it, and in Kira it's the Z gap height. Both these are um, adjustable and I usually set them to 10% of my layer height. So when we're talking about detachable, I'm thinking at 0.2 resolution, we're at 0.22 for the Z gap on the layer height there. Now what that does is it gives you just a little bit higher than your layer to ensure that when the support layer is on the bottom and that next one's laying down, that it's not touching flat. There's just a little bit of a gap so that it's not gonna fuse. So what happened to that black model? So the black one fused. Now let's look at what the black one was printed on. So the black one was printed on my CR-10S and I did manually level it before it started, but I assure you it was manually leveled and that's not the issue. So the second thing that we talked about was the heat of the filament and this is the issue. This filament needs to be printed hot and we're talking 220 degrees or maybe even 225 in some cases. I have had some issues with this filament before shooting this episode. So it's just a matter of the filament falling behind on the heat settings. So being that it was so hot, the layers melted and fused together. So top layers of the model melted down towards the support structure, making it hard to remove. Even the side acted that way, everything fused. So it was heat. So looking at the three models that we have and that I've made, all of the John Wick, the best one was the 3D Solutec marble filament that came off of the Mama Robot, closely followed to the uh, Ender 3 with the Hatchbox Silk Blue. Now, we did see that the Silk Blue did break from the base um, and the pen separated, but the most important things to get out of that print was the... Uh, support was not fused the the printer did a correct job at printing it's just idea maker didn't put all the supports in that we would have wanted automatically and we can go in and change those and add them but that's going to be a later video this one's just talking about support the three easy steps to make sure you're successful and then from there we're going to talk about adding supports in manually and more videos to come but the winner is definitely our little 
marble print of John Wick with the pencil ready for business. Um, and he was done with Kira and he was done with tree support. Um, the only thing I'll say about tree support right now is I do change the collision distance from the model. So when you're in your settings, you can change how far the trees are from the model. And, and you want to do that because otherwise you can get fusion because the tree support might work right up in and you'll never get it out. But other than that, it comes out great every time. You use about the same amount of support and you're successful. So with that said, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I hope we've all learned a little bit about supports and a few settings and printer features that we could change to be successful. You guys are awesome. Thanks for following. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Ring the bell to get new videos. And as always, have a good one.